All right, so today we're gonna change the lead gear from the extruder um, to these, which I got from Amazon, and they are the um, uh, one hell duplicator six, I believe, um, screws. Uh, it's not screws. Uh, uh gears. Um, supposedly it uh, has a better bite and it doesn't eat off that much from ABS or softer plastics so um, yeah let's get let's get started all right so we know how to take this off but in case you don't um, let's do it again uh, so to take the extruder off the extrude the uh, stepper motor off first thing what we're gonna do is I'm gonna unplug the hot end fan i'm gonna unplug the stepper motor there you go uh, we're gonna get our hex key we're gonna undo these two screws on the bottom oops all right so we have our stepper motor Let's uh, go to the next part. All right, now we are going to remove this setup. Um, as you can see, this is the idler bearing. This is the driver gear. When you put in the filament in there, it goes this way. You press on, on this lever, separates the idler, push it through, goes to the hot end, right? Now the problem that I was, gonna, that I was getting is that the filament wasn't um, free to move so it was either getting uh, stopped on this end or yeah so like basically the the motor turns and it goes this way the problem that I was having is you this was blocked off or um, or this wasn't being fed correctly because of the cardboard box and then this the gear would turn and then eat eat on the on the filament which ABS is kind of soft so that was a problem anyway so now we're gonna we're gonna change it to this first we're gonna take this screw off so I'm using all the um, hex keys that came with the with the, with the printer also, you want to be careful um, about this spring. Don't let don't let this explode on you. There you go. Now, don't lose your pieces. All right, we got one. Next one. Next one to go. in there from when it was grinding. I don't know if you can see it. There you go. Clean. Alright. Now we have this. Um, let's see if you can see the little pieces. I hope it can focus. But um, there's a little pieces of ABS that were caught in there. This is how caked in the ABS was when I was trying to use it for the first time. As you can see, it was pretty bad, so that's why we're doing this. Let's clean this off. Now we get our other hex key. Let's. Okay. Loosen it up a little bit. Oh man, there you go. And then this one. Okay, slides pretty easy. Here comes the next. Which one should we use? 
All right, so I'm going to screw this in a little bit so that I know that it's within the flat side. All right, I'm going all the way down because that's around that's about the same height. So I'm going all the way down. Well, I'm going to lift it a little bit to avoid um friction with the with the with the motor. Bottom lifted like fraction of a millimeter. All right. So this is the way that it was set up before. The the lever was up here at this on the same side as the um, plug for the ex the um, stepper driver, right? Now the problem is when you go all the way up on the on the z-axis, this sometimes hits the top of the printer. What I'm gonna do is I am going to. I am going to move it so that the plug is facing the rear of the printer and the lever goes like this. So basically it's going to sit like this. Um, hopefully it works. It's an interesting experiment. <laughs> in there and now we can tighten it up. Okay, we don't want it too tight otherwise we won't be able to move it. So let's loosen it up a little bit. Half a turn. That feels pretty good. Now let's see how this plays for us. Okay. Okay. Seems like it's pretty good. All right. Let's put this back in. Let's put this back in here. All right, pretty sturdy. Now let's, this might have not been a good idea. Nope. Well, there were good intentions. Let me fix that and I'll be back. Okay, we're back in here. I put it back in place and we are set. Now we plug everything back together, make sure that all the polarity matches. Cool. Now we need to calibrate the E-steps. Let's do it. If you enjoyed this or any of my other videos or content, please check out my grad school fun page right here. Or if you'd rather, consider a donation through PayPal over here. All the proceeds will go towards my education and will help me immensely. Links are also in the show notes. Anyway, once again, thanks for watching.